small towns without grocery stores are effectively food deserts, with neighbors often traveling miles to get necessities. I'm your Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter Katrina Markle in Malvern. After this town lost its grocery store in a fire about two and a half years ago, neighbors here are relieved to see construction finally starting on a new store. There's so much going on in this town. It's exciting. Janella May owns the Salty Heifer Cafe just down the street from Mulholland Grocery. In light of the growth of her hometown, she says getting the grocery store back is critical. It's been such a void in town not having it here. For items not carried by Dollar General or Casey's, the closest grocery store is at least 15 minutes away in Glenwood. So when initial work started on the Mulholland grocery store site, the community was excited. And so is owner Tom Mulholland, who can finally leave the job he's had since the fire and return to the family business. I enjoy being a, a part of the growth and the vitality around Malvern. Recent rain slowed things down, but Mulholland says getting a new contractor, a local company, and seeing work begin has lifted a weight from his shoulders. I want to you know, reinforce the future of the community by getting this store rebuilt. When I talk to business owners in small towns around southwest Iowa, they often mention that they depend on one another. Yeah, we can drive to Glenwood and, you know, or surrounding towns and spend our money there, but we'd love to be able to do it in our own community. After work is done to stabilize the neighboring building, which was also damaged in the fire, a foundation will be laid for a new store. The stress, the depression that I've gone through with everything that has happened has, has been tremendous and, and I feel so much better. I, I feel alive again. In Malvern, where neighbors are looking forward to buying groceries on Main Street again, I'm your Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter, Katrina Markle.